Hey YouTube, things are about to get miserable. Join me, won't you? That's me! Today's review is going to be a two-parter. The first part of the review is going to be of the movie Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. And immediately after that, I have a very special review for you. But first, let's talk about the movie. Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead is a documentary about a dude named Joe who is fat, sick, and nearly dead. The fat part comes because he eats way too much. And the sick part is because he has some kind of a disease that makes his skin get really red when he gets touched. To cure himself of those two problems, he decides that for 60 days he's going to do nothing but drink juice. Along the way, he interviews people about their dietary habits, and even recruits two people to join him in his fast. I've never been a really big fan of documentaries. The movie plays like one of those short films that you'd have to watch in elementary school about standing up straight or fighting gingivitis. I mean, basically this guy just found a way to get paid to go on a diet for 60 days. And there's really not a whole lot to say about the writing in this movie because it's a documentary. The interviews kind of make you sick about humanity for a while, because the greater majority of them are completely set in their ways, and not only that, they're kind of judgmental of someone trying to do something healthy. But you know, I can't really blame the people that he talked to for being so set in their ways. Like, I chose to watch this documentary. But if someone approached me on the street and started talking up this juice fast stuff, it would not change me at all. In fact, I would probably resent him for thinking that he was better than me. It also made me laugh that they picked the most unflattering camera angles for all the fat people in the movie. It's all from the floor up, looking at the guy, barely able to see his face over his gut, and he looks like Godzilla walking down the street, except there aren't any Asians running away from him. But I guess you could say the documentary succeeds in what it's trying to do. Because it's trying to make you look at your diet, and think that maybe this reboot juice fast idea is a good thing. And how do I know that that message was effective? because I actually went on a juice fast right after watching this movie. And that is what the second half of this video is going to be. It's going to be a day-by-day -day account of my six-day juice fast. My roommate and I decided that we should go on this juice fast together, and so we went to the store and bought a bunch of vegetables, most of which I would never eat, and the rest of which I probably have never heard of. After that, we took all those things home, put them in a juicer, and made some stuff that smells like garden clippings. And it doesn't taste much better. But I'm dealing with it because the video claimed that for the first couple of days it's going to be pretty bad and then you're going to get used to it. Day one wasn't so bad. I've gone an entire day without eating before so my body's not freaking out that much. But hey, in the first day I lost three pounds. While on the fast I decided to clean my room today and so I was shredding some papers around my room and uh, I started thinking that that sounded an awful lot like I was making dinner. And if I ate those paper shreddings it probably wouldn't taste that much different than that shake either. Okay, so the hunger is starting to get to me. I've had a headache for most of yesterday and today. The hunger is actually getting so bad that I actually went to the Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead Facebook page just to find out if there was a version of the six-day juice fast that allowed me to eat an orange. I have never been so desperate for an orange. On the video, everyone acted like day three was the worst time, and then on day four, your body starts getting used to it and you start feeling better. So I'm looking forward to that. That video is a fucking liar. I was finally able to go to the bathroom and it was green. I also had to leave the house to go to Walgreens today and it was really difficult to pass by all those fast food places on the way. Oh well, halfway done. Today I've started analyzing that documentary and how much I hate it. Because there's a part in this video where they talk about cavemen and how they would fast for weeks on end because they couldn't find food. Well guess what? I'm not a caveman. There is a Taco Bell at the corner of my street. I can find food. I should be eating it. Now whether it was evolution or God, something gave us teeth. We should be using them. My teeth are depressed because their life has no purpose. I had to buy gum today just so that they would have something to do. Today I'm feeling a little better. Not because my body is getting used to this juice fast, but because tomorrow I'm quitting it. Today my roommate and I went out running errands. My roommate said that the errands helped him because it took his mind off of his hunger. We were in a really ghetto part of town, and I saw what was basically someone's pickup truck that served food out of the back of it. On a normal day, there's no way I would consider touching anything out of that truck. But today, I probably would have done it. Who knows, maybe tomorrow I'll feel a lot better, and I'll decide to stick on this diet. Here we are on the final day of this juice fast. Altogether, I've lost 10 pounds, I've pooped twice, and I've only noticed minor changes in my health. And since I only expected to do this for six days, this is the part of the diet when I start to think about my options. Do I want to continue to lose weight and keep on the diet? Or am I ready to move on? And I feel like the answer to that is clear. 
Fuck this diet. I didn't really go on this diet to lose weight and feel healthier. I just went on this diet to make this video. And I succeeded. So now for my review of the reboot. Does not recommend. And that mean green drink is disgusting. I don't care what the fucking video said. It never got better. And I never really stopped being hungry. I've been dying for food. And when I finally got some, it was so good. I told one of my friends about the recipe for this reboot. And he said that the shake was really good. Because all he had available at the time was cucumber, apples, and oranges. Try putting some fucking celery and kale in there. Or better yet, mow your lawn with your face. I never want to have to do this again. So, in the future, to keep myself from having to do this again, I think the best idea is to try to supplement some of my food with a good tasting juice. Like just fruits and maybe one vegetable whose taste will be overpowered by those fruits. And yes, I'm thankful that I lost 10 pounds, that I know I'm probably going to put back on because I'm going to mess up some fast food restaurants. And I would like to keep losing weight, but honestly I think it's just going to be a lot better for you to just kind of pay attention to what you're eating and exercise some more. That's it for today. Don't forget to like and comment on this video and subscribe to this channel. And if you have anything you want me to review, don't forget to comment below and I'll check it out. That's it for today. My name is Robert and Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead and The Reboot have just been reviewed 